Hey Alexa, play some neo soul music, please. Hey Alexa, turn up three. Hey Alexa, thank you. Hey Alexa. Hey Alexa, can you play the music please? Hey, today we're gonna to be going over a way to water your plants more effectively. Um, the sprayer I am using today is HDX. Um, I'm also gonna cover how to deal with frustration, some affirmations, just being positive. Um, I didn't want to entitle this plant chores because it's a hobby. Um, I don't want this to feel like it's a chore. It's something I do to relax and something I do to have fun. This particular sprayer, I believe, ran me a little under $12 on Home Depot's website. They have it listed for $11.97. Um, and I don't know what this is. They have some kind of subscribe and save. And if you get it, it would be eleven thirty-seven if you subscribe. But I don't know why you would need so many sprayers. Um, <clears throat> so we're getting into the box. It comes with um, the pump, which is used to pressure pressurize it. Um, of course the the gallon jug and the kink resistant hose. So what I like to do when I water my plants is I like to use filtered water. So <clears throat> I purchased my Brita from Amazon, I want to say it might have been around 20 ish dollars, and I haven't had to change the filter out yet. Um, they recommend you change the filter in it about every three months. I got some refills um, off of Amazon in a pack of three, so I have enough filters to last me, I guess, the rest of the year between us drinking water and me watering my plants. So what you see me doing here is I'm attaching the holes right in the smallest hole on the jug. I'm sure it came with instructions, but it's really no need to read those. Um, I'm attaching the spray part to the hose. Um, <clears throat> I just want to add, as you'll see me spraying once I get everything set up, that the nozzle adjusts really well um, from steam to mist. So, which is really useful if you just want to, you know, lightly steam or if you need a, a steady stream. Um, Everything on this is like super easy to put together. Um, I was watching other content creators and I noticed, I was like always like, what the heck is that that they're using um, to water their plants? Because I would never see it, you know, but then when I was in the Home Depot the other day, I was like, oh, okay, that's what they're doing. It's nothing magical. So... I want to probably, I will probably keep my channel mainly voiceovers because, like I said, I don't want to make this into a chore. I like to listen to music um, 
whenever I'm doing things around the house. And in order for me, you know, to keep going and keep vibing, I need the music. And if I put it on YouTube, I'm going to get all kind of copyright claims. I don't have time for all that. So I'm filling it up with my, um, I think my bread is a quart size. But this is the thing that I didn't realize. When I went to fill this up, I filled it up almost all the way up to the top. Not taking into account that the pump has to go in the damn jug. But, uh, anywho, I still filled it all the way up, um, because this is editing me looking back. And I don't know if I would not fill it all the way up. I have to do some research because I don't know if a gallon is including the pump, um, taking up space or what, because <clears throat> the calculations that I use when I, um, put my, um, general hydroponics in there, um, you know, it's specific to a gallon. So <clears throat> I don't get into the science of all that. My kid is always like, you need to do this and you need to do that. No, I don't want to. I want to have fun and enjoy it. If I mess up, I mess up. And if I learn, I learn, but it's going to be through trial and error and it's going to be my way. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. If I get nutrient lockout, I get nutrient lockout. Um, and if you want to educate me, you can feel free to do that in the comments. But from what I read and from my understanding, I think that I'm supposed to put the cow magic in first. I'm using that because, like, no matter what I do, I still notice that <clears throat> my plants, some of my plants have the, you know, brown at the tips. And I know my plants aren't going to look perfect, but I want them to look as good as they can. Excuse me being a savage, but it's really hard to open up these syringes, um, like how I normally do, without having full function of my right hand which I'm right hand on it. Um, so I have these syringes so I can try to accurately um, measure my feed. Um, I'm going to use a syringe for each one. I'm not going to, you know, of course, mix them up. I do know at least that much. <clears throat> and I found this uh, general hydroponics, um, what is it called? Like pest, um, you know, for the pest. <laughs> I can't even think of what it's called, but it's normally like, Fifteen ninety nine. I don't know how well it's gonna be with um keeping pests away, you know, off your off your plants. But I did get it because I think it was on sale for like five dollars. If anyone um any one of you guys have used this or even know how to use it, what is it? Pre Bassin General Hydrophonics. Um, let me know. I didn't use it, I just had it on the table. I hadn't used it yet. I just use uh, primarily neem oil. Um, I rarely have any pests, but I'm so terrified of getting, getting them on my plants, you know, because this can become really expensive and. I would literally get stressed out if I had like a plant that I spent, you know, even $30 on, you know, because some of these plants are like super small for just 30 plus dollars and just like money down the drain. Um, 
it's really crushing, especially if you spend like anywhere over $50 for a plant and it dies. I, I hate when it happens. So I'm going to take it slow and just try to manage what I have right now um, and see how well these plants do. Oh, and this is me making a mess. Um, it's really challenging for me to get the solution and the syringe because I don't have use of my right thumb. So <clears throat> I'm trying to pull up the cow magic and I'm using, I think it's mild, um, the mild mix. I don't know. It's on the side of the, um, the bottle. Um, so it's five mLs, pretty much of everything. Five mLs of the for grow, for bloom, um, for uh, micro, and the cow magic. So I believe I can't remember the order I'm putting them in. I normally every time I do a sit down, I have to think about it again. But I know right now I'm putting in the cow magic first. Um, and just listen to my music. So I'm back trying to figure out what's next. I'm looking at my phone. Shaking up. Let's so shake up each one. So like I said, we're going to put five mLs of each. So while we watch this... We're going to go, um, I'm going to say a think positive affirmation. I just dismiss the stories in my head that cause me to worry needlessly. Let me say that again. I dismiss the stories in my head that call me to, to worry needlessly. That could mean several different things, but the goal is to think positive, breathe in positive, breathe out negative. Um, it's no need to worry, it's really not. Um, if you're here today, that means you've already overcome things that you thought you couldn't have. So it's really no need to worry about anything because you can get through everything. It's no need to worry. So up next is the floral bloom. Again, five mLs on that. Oh, and I forgot to mention that although I didn't do this, I know I'm supposed to. After you put each um, nutrient or supplement um, in whatever vessel that you choose to mix them in, you need to stir or shake. Um, in between each one. I didn't do that only because of the situation that I have going on. Um, but at the end, you'll see me just stir. And I'm like, oh, well, I dropped the ball on that, didn't I? But we're going to roll with it. Remember that stress doesn't come from what's going on in your life. It comes from your thoughts about what's going on in your life. Oh, so this one, <clears throat> I realized I only had three um, of the big syringes and now I have more than three um, nutrients so 
I had to go back and get my um my smaller syringes to put in my flora grow. Here's another affirmation. I am calm, happy, and content. And honestly, when I'm doing um What I love to do is relaxing. I am calm. I am happy. I am content. It's peaceful. This hobby is peaceful. And I hear people say to me a lot, like, why are you spending money on this? It's just leaves. It's just, you know. And then I'm like, it is peaceful. I watch something grow. I take care of something. It's calming. It's relaxing. Um, And we have to realize that we don't need to be judgmental of what others love, what others, you know, like to do. Everyone's different for a reason. That's what makes things interesting. That's what gives us the ability to learn from each other. So I, at this point, we're going to get back into this pump. Um, I'm sorry, I was just getting so, like, into it. Off camera, what you didn't see is that, of course, I told you earlier, I overfilled it. So I'm putting the pump attachment on, I'm pumping it up, which causes the pressure to work. And it allows um, the water to come through the holes. So this is this little uh, makeup or like cosmetics case I bought from, I think TJ Maxx that I have my pink lemonade that is due for a repot because it's it's like really, it's a seedling that's due for a, uh, it needs to be increased before it dies, before I kill it. Because I know it's like one of the um, leaves are yellowing and it's nowhere for those roots to grow. So I'm just going to put some spag moss. And it is really challenging getting this stuff in here. So I'm going to make a mess, you guys. Please don't judge me. And my camera died and I had to switch over to my iPhone. I know it sucks. I can't get it together. <laughs> with these videos but like I said I just want to do this I just want to have fun I don't want to make it into a job so you see me test my little spray out got my little anthurium pink lemonade that I got from um the South Carolina anthurium rear plant show which I can't wait to go to the next one I think it's in December the heat was unbearable at this period. Oh my God. So I'm trying my best to like untangle those roots, trying to, you know, give it some room. Um, I'm not going to be able to do the best job because I don't have full um, use of, again, my dominant right hand. And at this point, I feel like I overworked myself. Um, <clears throat> but I want to try to at least finish something that I started. So I'm just looking at the roots, trying to pull off anything that needs to um, come off. So my goal with this, I'm sizing up, of course, you see how big the cup is. And you see that how big my little uh, makeshift pot I just bought is. Um, I am really nervous about killing this because I am just getting into um, anthurians, and this one was $100. I do not want to kill this. So I'm going to wait um, a good while before I change the substrate. Um until I get a good feel, um, because I bought an anthurium I had got off an of auction, um, and it was ninety dollars, and I killed it. 
all I have left is roots that I'm praying something comes from, but I doubt it because it was like a ceiling, but we'll see. Point is, what I'm fitting to do, I am about to repot this bad boy and it's old sphagnum moss and verticulite, I think it's called, um, because it retains moisture you know i feel like sphagnum moss um it gets really it dries out really quick in my home um and i find myself having to like constantly anything that's in spag i have to constantly water it um i know it's airy but i just wanted to be able to retain a little more moisture um so i'm just gonna do a little razzle dazzle, a little sprinkle of this uh or I can't even say it. Y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say. But they say that it's good for like seedlings and all that stuff. We will see. And to try and like save on time and you know you guys get a drill of like how to repot something oh here goes my co-host that's honey she's just like what you doing but anywho um i will be speeding this up um fairly soon I chose thoughts that raise my vibration and my mood. I like that one. I choose thoughts that raise my vibration and my mood. <clears throat> That's a really good one. So I always trying to think about something positive, like something good, whatever makes you happy. Think about what happy looks like to you try not to focus on too many negative things because if you look for negative things you will find negative things oh and i am getting these affirmations from let me look it up in my phone really quick Okay, so it is an app called I Am um, Daily Affirmations. It gives you positive reminders and motivation. Um, The goal is, is like to read and internalize the affirmations that I am, you know, sends to your phone. Um, you can add some of the widgets to your home screen. Um, personalize your background. And you can choose, like, what type of affirmations that you you would like. Like, stress, if you're dealing with stress and anxiety, which is, like, a big one for me. Um And sometimes it's really challenging to, like, discuss certain feelings that you're having. So that is my reason for um, choosing to get the app. Like, literally getting the subscription. Um, But the other categories besides stress and anxiety are positive thinking, health, and like self love to name a few. Um, you can also share the affirmations. Um, <clears throat> I 
with others. So I think that what I'm going to do with you guys is make this a thing. No matter like what type of video I'm doing, I'll just read a couple of, you know, affirmations. Um, just to, you know, just put some positivity out there in the universe. Look at her. She's all painted, potted up. My pretty pink lemonade anther. I am proud of that. Oh, oh. I don't even know what I'm listening to because I took the music out, but I'm having a good time. So, <clears throat> right here, I'm going to water my uh, hybrid anthurium. Um... This is one of my favorites right now because it's growing really well. And this they uh, this is cute. They have a affirmation um category that is feeling sassy um let me just read this one it says i stand up for myself even if my voice shakes and that's a good one because i i always remember um hearing you know, when I was younger, if you don't stand up for something, you'll fall for anything. So this one, you know, it's not as aggressive. I stand up for myself, even if my voice shakes. Um, I water this. Singonian, Singonian, Singonians. I know nothing about them. I just bought this one to see how it does. So far, I didn't unalive it. So, but honestly, I don't know if I really like the look of them. Um, <clears throat> if someone with anybody is a Singonian lover, Comment below and, you know, let me know what type of Sagonium would, you know, is, like, interesting or I want to like it because I think I can grow them, but I don't really like doing a job for me. So... <clears throat> Your glow is blinding some people. Keep shining and let them wear shades. Lord, I gotta preach. I'm just gonna add a little bit. So, <clears throat> this spray will be ideal. Um, like right here. On this shelf, I have multiple plants, and the actual, like, water in them, um, in a controlled manner, it's kind of hard, especially on this shelf. Um, I know that 
I hear people say that you should flush your plants like weekly. Who? Who gonna do that? I mean, I have a full time job that is like a job and a half because I work overtime every week when I work. Who got time to flush these plants? No, we're not gonna make this a job. We're gonna flush them, but it's just not gonna be every week. We're gonna get them a little more water if they need it, but we can't we can't do that. You gotta exercise, work a full time job cook, have stable relationships, take the dog out. No, no, we can't. I, 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 I can't. Um, I can't flush these plants every, every week. That ain't going, that's not going to happen. But when I do have some time, I love, 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 love dibbling and dabbling in them. So, I'm not going you can flush them every week. That's why I said to myself, I need to just stay with the amount of plants I have right now, see how these do, because I know that th- these plants here, they need a lot of attention already. I have several that need multiples um, for them to achieve what I want them to achieve. Um, Coming up soon, I will be doing a video on making a moss pole. Like, look at this. Look at this travesty. I ain't even going to get into it. I'm going to get into it later. But um, making a moss pole. I have a, a Curo cabinet that I'm going to redo <clears throat> into a greenhouse. I um, recently purchased a nice 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 sturdy solid wood curo cabinet that's gonna be perfect for my space with some tlc instead of buying that cheap old um ikea basic like everybody else got um for like however much it is i think it's like 300 dollars. but why it's 300 dollars because it's trending it's trending everybody got it no, that's not that's not cute. So I can't get, I can't wait until I um transform this this Kira. Like, don't get me wrong. Now one day I probably will get one, but I don't know. I I doubt it. I would much rather just um redo something or make something because. That's just too much. I don't know. That's just too much for something that's really like, it's Ikea. It's so many places, so many people giving away cabinets. Not giving away, but like, you're going to save some stuff on the landfill if we just take an old cabinet and turn it into essentially the same thing. Um... Well, let me stop rambling on about that. So as you can see, it's pretty easy for me to go from plant to plant and kind of refill these reservoirs. Um, This is going to be a game changer for me, and I'm sure it will be for anyone else that has a plant collection, a growing plant collection. Um, it was just, it was just a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, um, doing my not plant chores today. And I think before I um before I go I'm gonna leave you with one more affirmation from the think positive category 
I'm always going to encourage people to think positive. So today is a new opportunity to be a better version of yourself. Remember, every day you can start over. Every day you can start new. Every day, whatever that looks like for you, putting more effort in it, giving up more time, taking up more time for yourself. But it's just a new version to be a better version of yourself. Whatever goals you have, whatever you want to achieve, whatever you want to learn, you can do it. You have the breath in your body to become a better version of yourself. I hope you enjoy this video and please like, comment, and subscribe.